Jonah, I know you on a personal level, mm -hmm. and I know you've had quite the journey to get to where you are today. Tell us a bit about it. Yes, I have. <laughs> Man, where do I start? So. I, uh, I got bit by the acting bug when I was forced to take a drama class in middle school. So when I was 12 years old, I actually played the lead role in the class play Rappenstiltskin, which was the rapping version of <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> so it was definitely a comedy. And what I, what I realized is every single day, like that class was what I look forward to. Mm -hmm. And I just loved making people laugh. Um, and so I fell in love with acting and I was like, well, even at age 12, I was like, I want to, I want to do this. Like, but what does that mean? Um, and I was trying to do class plays. And then I heard one of those like radio announcements that was like, if you are an actor between the ages of four and 84, we have agents looking for you. <laughs> and I was like, I'm between ages four and 84. Like they're looking for me. <laughs> and so I begged my very traditional Asian parents to take me to this audition. I did a cold read for the first time. So I auditioned for them and then I got, was called into the office and uh, what I didn't realize at the time was it wasn't what I had expected. It was one of those agencies, this is when I was in St. Louis, Missouri, that uh, you have to pay a lot of money um, and then you have to take their classes and then they represent you. So unfortunately I felt really, um, like I felt like I was scammed mm -hmm. and it was really, challenging because my parents didn't really have much money when I was growing up. Um, now they're middle class and they're doing fine, but just growing up, you know, we lived in a trailer in upstate New York for a while, so money was really tight. And I think that experience, um, like, really left a really deep mark on me in terms of just feeling so frustrated with not understanding this business and feeling like, we were taken advantage of. Um, and so for me, what I decided to do was like really try to learn the business side of the industry because acting for me was a very expensive hobby for a very long time. <laughs> um, so I went to school at USC, fight on, <laughs> and I studied the business side of the industry and started working in like casting agency, producing, and that's where I was like, oh, like this is what like I've been missing. like. This is how this is how I go about getting an agent. This is how I go about getting these auditions or meeting these people and like that was really a game changer for me because I felt like I was someone who always worked really 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 hard but wasn't really working smart. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of uh, where things started happening was um, being a lot more particular about who I'm surrounding myself with, who I'm partnering with. Um, who I'm connecting with, who I'm becoming friends with. Because again, that environment like we, we talked about earlier becomes such an important you know, thing. Tell me about this little girl, teenager mm -hmm. living in a trailer in New York. So it started, yes, I, uh, up until age eight, I was in upstate New York. Right, mm -hmm. so you're living in, in this trailer. trailer, harboring these dreams of stardom and show business, <laughs> and you went from you know, a rough experience in New York, and then finally moving to LA, Los Angeles. Humbling, a lot of humble pie, but yeah. a lot of tenacity. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, probably my parents. Um, you know, I was, I was always pretty hard on myself, and it's because my dad was really hard on himself and just had really high expectations. And I think another thing was like, I had this chip on my shoulder that I had that I had something to prove. I think growing up, um, I was, especially when I was in St. Louis, Missouri, there wasn't, I think I was one of five Asians in my high school. Mm -hmm. And growing up, like, you know, I had friends getting asked questions like, why do you hang out with chinks? And just like really, you know, fairly racist comments. Um, you know, I have friends that have had, had it way worse. But for me, I just felt like much, very much like an outsider and that I didn't belong and that. Um, so that, that instill a I'll show you attitude? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that, that <laughs> I think it's that like competitive side of me, yeah. And it fueled, in a good way, I guess, like I turned it into, like I would get teased and I think I was so wanting to break out of this like stereotype and like um, my peers and people around me thinking, okay, so she's Asian, so she's just good at math and she's just gonna like be a doctor or a lawyer. Nothing wrong with those occupations at all. But for me, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play sports. So I played lacrosse and I became an all-state lacrosse player, which was really like, um, I was very proud of that, you know? And then uh, I had a friend 
that was like, oh, girls don't play poker. And then I started playing poker. <laughs> so it was like this. And you were a quarterback, too. <laughs> yes, I a quarterback um, in flag football, not tackle, flag. So it was a lot of like breaking boundaries. And I think that's something that's very important to me is to be someone who's out there breaking stereotypes and um, just doing things different. Like I was watching um, Edge of 17. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, and one of the, for me, one of the breakout actors in that um, is a guy named Hayden Zito. And so he's this young, like, um, like early 30s, late 20s, early 30s. Um, Asian actor and this is like a breakout role and he's not playing your stereotypical like nerdy or um, professional he's, yeah he's just this like kind of awkward charming you know uh, love interest of the white girl <laughs> you know didn't so. have my number <laughs> <laughs> well, he was playing you a, know casting right well, he was playing a high schooler Lawrence <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe if it was college. You can't fight crow's feet, people. <laughs>